Hi YouTubers, my name is Kevin and you're watching The Royal We. How many of you are stuck in a grieving process right now, grieving over what you thought you could have had with this toxic, narcissistic person? Or how many of you are grieving the loss of what you almost had with this toxic family that you just couldn't fit back into? Or how many of you are grieving the loss of what you thought you had at this job but it ended up being a bunch of narcissistic talk behind your back. Now, this is a real grieving process, but I want to take it a step further for you because what you're grieving is not necessarily the toxic persons. You're not grieving that particular relationship. I know that that's how it's manifested in your life, but I want to challenge you with this to see it a different way. The real grieving here, the real loss that you're experiencing is in the idea of what you thought a relationship should look like. You had an idea of what a husband should look like. You had an idea of what a wife should look like. You had an idea of what your career should look like. You had an idea of what family should look like. And these ideas were given to you by movies, by culture, by society. We've been uh, shown so many movies of, of Christmases and Christmas Eves and people huddled around the, the trees decorating them and eating turkeys and kissing under the mistletoe, drinking hot cocoa, sitting on sleds with grandma and grandpa going down the hill at lightning speed. And this is what life and Christmas and family is all about, right? But I'm here to tell you right now that, listen, none of this is biblical. None of this is. And what we're discovering right now is that for the most part, we come together and we do all these things and a lot of people can't stand the sight of each other. And so what you're really grieving is coming together in these situations going, this is horrible. This is nothing like what I thought it should be like. And so you're grieving the loss of what you believed this world is like and what you believed you can have in this world. That's really what the grieving process is all about. It's not just about the narcissist. It's about everything. You're realizing now that your eyes are open, like, oh my gosh, I don't even have a good relationship with my parents. My parents are jerks. They're toxic, narcissistic jerks. I can't stand my mom. I can't stand my dad. It's not just my narcissistic ex. Everybody is just kind of crazy, right? It's not what I've been told it was supposed to be. This is the real grieving process. And now let's talk and, and get reacquainted with some of the realities of the world that you and I live in. If we go back into the ancient days, if we go back to some of the earliest writings that we have, we see a story of the very two first brothers who represent the first human beings born on this planet. And that is the story of Cain and Abel that comes out of the ancient literature of the Bible. Now, Adam and Eve in the story do not count as the first humans. Why? Because they were both created, according to the story, by the hands of God. But when it comes to their children, the two first sons, Cain and Abel, they were both fully human. They were born from the womb of Eve. And what happens in this story? As they grow, these two brothers, out of a fit of rage and jealousy and envy and craziness, one kills the other. This is our first look at the nature of humanity. This is the reality of the world. And it's right there in the ancient literature in our face staring at us. But we ignore that and instead want to bury it down and cover it up with all this stuff like, well, the world just needs love, man. That can take care of that. No, that still exists. That nature. And so what's happening now as you heal from narcissistic abuse is you're being reawakened and reacquainted with these realities. Yes, your parents are represented in a very narcissistic, toxic world. Yes, your ex is. Yes, your teachers were. Yes, your jobs are. Yes, everything is. This is the reality. And so we have to grieve the loss of what we thought we can have in this world in looking for a perfect relationship, of looking for having that perfect family dynamic where we're together every Christmas Eve, celebrating every uh, Easter and whatever else. This is what we're really grieving. We're grieving the reality that doesn't match with the ideas that we have been force-fed through movies, television, radio, and Hallmark. That's what we're really grieving. If we understand this, 
We can see our part in what we really wanted the narcissist to fill in our life. For me, I wanted to be a part of a big family. I wanted, and, and being uh, married into a family, I thought, wow, this is great. I have a big family. Uh-uh. It wasn't my family. And I learned that the hard way. And many of you have that same experience. And so what we have to do is get reacquainted with the realities of the world, refocus our lives to live in such a way where we are living from the inside out. We're finding our joy from within. We're finding our hope and our faith once again. Now, many of you will fall into this idea that you deserve a relationship that's not toxic. Well, what if I told you that you will never find a relationship outside of yourself that is not toxic? You're going to discover that most people are inherently selfish and rude and out to get what they can get. The first relationship that needs to become non-toxic is the one with yourself. When you, leave, when you live completely from within yourself outward, then you'll start to see the toxicity that it exists out there. You're going to understand and realize that it's real, it's everywhere, it surrounds you, and it won't affect you. But if you're looking for that one person to save you, if you're looking for that one perfect person, perfect family member, perfect whatever, to, to, to be non-toxic in your life, yes, you'll have good people in your life, don't get me wrong, but you will always find toxicity. So the first area is to cleanse yourself, to get rid of any toxicity in yourself so that you are living fully complete enjoy yourself. This is the key. If you have your joy from within yourself, if you're living from within yourself, then you will not require anything from outside of yourself because you'll be complete. And then the relationships can be nothing but mutual. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't experience toxic narcissistic abuse. I don't recognize narcissists anymore. Don't get me wrong. I know they exist. I work with toxic, narcissistically abusive people every day. I see them pop up on this YouTube channel in the comments section. I get comments saying, Kevin, you're a jerk off. It, down below in the videos, I get all this stuff. I see it. I see the toxicity, but it has no effect on me. Because I'm living from the inside out, and no matter what is spoken, no matter what's going on around me, it does not phase or stop me. And this is how we have to live our lives. And when you get to this point where you're living from the inside out, you'll no longer be looking for a non-toxic relationship. You will yourself be a non-toxic relationship. You'll be able to navigate and stay away from people who are not good for you, right? people who want to bring drama into your life, who want to pull you off of your path in life, you'll be able to stay away from those relationships. You'll see them. You'll be able to interact with them. I interact with toxic narcissistic people every day. I work with people and I do my job and I do the best job that I can, but I do not get emotionally entangled in anybody else's anger or problems or drama because it has nothing to do with me. Do you understand that? But as long as you are looking for a non-toxic relationship, then you will always be putting that burden and that pressure outside of yourself for somebody to fill that role to make you feel good and to make you feel validated. But first, you've got to do it from within yourself. The world is toxic. It has been since the beginning. Listen, I want to be a part of your healing journey. Visit www.jointheroyalwe.com dot com to schedule one-on-one -on -one time with me. We can do an over-the-phone session. We can also do FaceTime for you Apple users. Also, I encourage you to join me every Monday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for Royal We Live Chat. This is an opportunity to chat and ask questions amongst the community members. You can also call in for free to chat for a little bit. Also, every Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship. Royal We Fellowship is an in-depth Bible look at the ancient literature, but it's coming from the perspective of understanding the world is toxic and very narcissistic. And we must be careful and we have to really understand what it's truly trying to warn us about and tell us. So every Saturday morning at 9 a.m., Royal We Fellowship. You can find the links to all of this down below, right down there. Look down below. Just start clicking on the links and it will take you where you need to go. And I'll be back with more videos right here on the Royal We.